Hey there, I just wanna say congratulations. You know, watching this video indicates that you have said yes to following Jesus. And where that may be a scary thing right now, you don't know the ins and the outs of what this entails, I promise you it's the best decision that you've ever made in your entire life. You know, one of the next steps to following Jesus is following through in what we call baptism. Uh, baptism is just a public declaration of showing people, I've said yes to Jesus. Jesus wants us not to be ashamed of our desire to follow him, but he wants us to be able to show that. And so baptism shows those that are around us and those that know us, I've said yes to following Jesus. If you don't mind, just watch this short four minute video on all that baptism means. And if you still have questions after that, any one of our team would love to sit and talk with you and answer any question that you have. But I look forward to being able to baptize you, letting everybody know of your indication of saying yes to Jesus. So here's the deal. Uh, some of you may be asking this, and if I was getting baptized and I wasn't raised in a church home and I was trying to process my thoughts about Christianity, I would say, whoa, 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 what are we doing? Why is there a pool? What is baptism? Why do we even do this thing called baptism? And so here's a couple of things I wanna walk through. You see, baptism is something that we call an ordinance. Uh, which is just a really churchy big word for a, a command that Jesus gives the church. He gives two of them, uh, to have communion, the Lord's Supper, some of you may be familiar with, and then baptism. Those are the two commands or ordinances that God gives the church to live out. And if I were getting baptized, I would really want to know why. And so I, I've got three reasons that we baptize people, All right? So here's three reasons that we baptize uh, people. Number one is this, we're following Jesus' example. We just said that Jesus was fully man, fully God, we, he lived this life, fulfilled the Old Testament prophecies, and guess what he did? He goes and he gets baptized. In, in Matthew uh, chapter 3, verses 14 and 15, we see John. Uh, John has it there. John is, is a, a follower, a believer in Jesus, and he's, he's going through there, and, and he's like, whoa, 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 I don't need to be baptizing you, bro. You need to be baptizing me. Uh, he, he didn't say bro in the Bible, but I just think he would have said bro. Uh, and I would have been like, uh-uh. And so, no, and Jesus says, no, no, allow it for now, because this is the way for us to fulfill all righteousness. And John allowed him to be baptized. And so Jesus followed through with baptism. And you know what happened? After that, this is what God audibly said. This is my son who I am well pleased. First reason we get baptized is because the example is through Jesus. And so Jesus was baptized. The second one is this. It's an act of obedience. Matthew 28, 18 through 20 is something that we call the Great Commission. Uh, and in that Great Commission, it says, go therefore and baptize. Jesus came and said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations baptizing them. And so it's a command and it's an act of obedience. And that reminds us that not only are we to follow through after we put our faith in Jesus, but we're also supposed to be telling everybody else that we have close relationships with and that we're trying to build relationships with to point them on a journey with Jesus also. The second reason that we baptize is because it's a command of Jesus. And so we're trying to have it as an act of obedience. And then the last reason is this, it's a public declaration you see, be, being baptized tells everyone, I've said yes to Jesus. I, I've said yes to what Jesus has done for me, to who he was, and I'm saying yes to letting him lead. It's a public declaration letting people know. And, and here's a, a verse that kind of describes that. It's Romans 6, 4. It says it best. It says, therefore, we were buried with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, by the glory of the Father, we too may walk in newness of life. It's telling people, I've said yes, and I'm going to try the best I can to live this new life in Jesus. And so it's a public declaration. And, and know this, baptism doesn't save anyone. I mean, baptism isn't the saving act. Placing your faith in Jesus is a saving act. And it's a lot like this, I describe it. It's like my wedding ring. So if I don't have my wedding ring on, I am still married to Libby. But my wedding ring was a way of me publicly declaring that I'm committed to her, and it's a way of me showing that. It doesn't make me any more married or any less married. I am married to her with it on or with it off, and baptism is the same way. It's an act of obedience, and it's a public declaration of, hey, I've placed my faith in Jesus. In fact, there was actually someone, uh, Jesus was murdered on the cross with two other people. They were two thieves. And the thief on the cross, he actually says, I want to spend eternity with you, Jesus. I've said yes. And Jesus says, hey, because of your faith, you'll, you'll be with me in paradise today. Well, he didn't have time to get baptized. <laughs> so it wasn't like Jesus was like, hey, if you could just crawl down from there and get baptized, then we can go. No. And so he spent uh, eternity, he's spending eternity with Jesus there, and, and he was not baptized there. And so those are some things that I would want to know. And here's the last question. Why do we do water baptism and why do we immerse people? Why are, why are we dunking them? Why don't we do something different? 
In plain and simply, there's no other way to say it. Every example of baptism in the Bible is through immersion. Every example that we see in the Bible that shows anyone getting baptized is through immersion. And so, you know how we want to do it? According to the scriptures, we baptize and immerse them. And so that's why we have a little bit bigger hot tub than some of you may have thought walking in here today. And so,